With the concept of O potential, now let's look at an example of so-called polarization curve for electrode reaction. Polarization curve for electrode reaction. A polarization curve would be just a plot of current density J versus electrode over potential eta. That's called a polarization curve. And here we show an example of a polarization curve. J for current density, mu for over potential, and uh, this would be so-called the polarization curve. And specifically in this case, we are showing for the copper 2 plus aqueous solution and the copper plus aqueous solution electrode reaction or half cell reaction at room temperature 25 degrees C, one atmosphere in HCl, hydrogen chloride supporting electrolyte. Okay. And the active species are both at 0.1 mole per kilogram of um, solvent, 0.1 molo. Okay. And as we see, for eta to be positive, that means we have positive over potential. What does that mean is the electrode actual electrode potential is more positive. It's more positive than equilibrium um, electrode potential. The actual potential is more positive. And because it's more positive, of course, it will experience so-called anodic polarization. Positive over potential, positive eta, we have anodic polarization, which means anodic, we are experiencing oxidation, overall oxidation for this half cell reaction, meaning going from copper plus give out electron to form copper 2 plus. Okay, so this would be for the positive O potential and uh, quite often we also designate this anodic current to be positive, anodic current because it's giving out electron, it's going through oxidation. This current we call it positive. Um, by convention in this course. On the other side, on the other side, we have negative eta, negative over potential, and correspondingly, negative current. But the negative over potential just means the actual electrode reaction potential is more negative, lower, more negative than the equilibrium electrode potential. More negative. And because it's more negative, we are experiencing cathodic polarization for that electrode. Cathodic polarization for that electrode. And cathodic corresponds to reduction. Reduction. And for this particular pair between copper 2 plus and copper plus, reduction definitely is going from copper 2 plus ion combined with electron to form copper plus ion. This would be the so-called reduction or cathodic half cell reaction if, if the over potential is negative or if the electrode potential would be more negative than the equilibrium. Okay, so this gives us the the polarization curve. Current density versus over potential, both negative over potential and positive over potential. And when the over potential is zero, means it is at equilibrium, and of course there will be no net current. O potential is positive, means we have anodic polarization or oxidation, half the reaction, half cell reaction going along oxidation direction. When the over potential is negative, we are having 
reduction or cathodic polarization, meaning the half cell reaction is going through the reduction process or reduction direction. And as you see from this plot, the polarization curve quite often is not linear, or we say it is non-linear. You may find certain regions that it appears to be linear, but overall it is non-linear. That's a important feature about polarization curve between current density and overpotential.